What's up traders? So let's do a complete multi time frame analysis on gold. Let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently we have in this instrument. Now, as you can see on the lower time frame on gold, we can find a significant trading opportunity in the beginning of the week. Before we discuss how we can trade, let's look at the bigger picture to see the general direction in the market. And then we'll jump onto this lower time frame to see how we can trade gold looking at monthly time frame first what do you see that on the monthly perspective gold has previous months created a very long and strong bullish engulfer this monthly candle started from a very important monthly level of support zone after a strong drop on the monthly perspective gold has bounced from this level created this bullish engulfer now with that bullish engulfer highly likely that gold will continue to rise as this candle has an element of false breakout to the downside created a lower high with the previous monthly candle and closed as a full body green giving us a potential bullish setup on the lower time frame now if we take our fibonacci for this strong impulsive move to the downside on gold what we can see that currently gold has broken out of the 38.2 percent fibonacci level and the next Fibonacci level coming up is 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci level can be a good place for targeting gold profit target. Now, looking at weekly time frame, we see that how the price action is forming that on the weekly time frame, we see first of all, there is a strong impulse from here on gold. With this big impulse, we have seen a narrow correction. It's a sign that the gold bulls are very, very strong and from that correction we see that it just been retraced up to 38.2 percent fibonacci level and then it started to go up again giving us a potential strong momentum to the upside now previous week what we have seen that gold closed with this bullish candle now after this kind of candle we can expect further move to the upside but at the same time we see that gold is now facing a very important level of resistance zone if we draw this level here what do you see that the same level is the support of this long bearish engulfer this is the weekly bearish engulfer that has the strong liquidity from the top and created the starting of this move big move towards downside so this same level now acting here as support acting here as a resistance we might see a strong bounce from this level to the downside now let's look at daily time frame then how we can find a trading opportunity now this is the daily candle as you can see gold created a hanging man on this weekly level of resistance and instead of having any kind of bounce to the downside we have seen that bulls first has broken out of this resistance level completely to the upside created an overextended market now with that overextended market there are two probability now the price to grab liquidity and then to drop or another probability is for the goal to continue to rise so which one is likely to happen let's look at further lower time frame to see probable probable condition for potential bullish or bearish setup first of all as you can see this market currently overextended to the upside in relation to this previous resistance zone so that could be a breakout to the upside or a false breakout to the downside and a continuation to the downside so then how we'll be waiting as you can see this red candle this is a very very important candle as this was formed during the nfp and we have seen that the same level is now testing as a support this resistance level a fake double top formation and then has broken down grab liquidity we have seen the price has broken to the upside from this resistance now acting here as a support now if gold managed to retain above this level that red candle is significant as it may form an inverted head and shoulder and then to continue to go up to its upward direction one possibility if on the retest of this previous resistance or turning support if gold create a long week candle and multiple retest if we see series of higher low has been created that means that gold bulls are still in control in that case we'll consider going long on gold with a high probability trade setup on the other hand if we see that gold has broken to the downside again 
with a strong red bearish candle and closed back below this previous resistance which is turning support and failed to retest and create a false breakout to the upside then highly likely that gold will continue to drop at least to this level in that case if we see a strong bearish price action according to the rules of our strategies will consider going short based on the price action confirmation now if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also let us know in the comment section which way you are trading gold thank you very much i'll see you soon in my next analysis